Hello, everyone. So for phase two of the reservation request, we will just go to the application that we we're working on earlier and you'll click view edit. And then as you can see, the current status is reservation request IOU data results shared. That just means that we have received the utility usage data for your project and we are ready to move on to phase two where you can size your system correctly and move forward with reserving your incentive amount. So you can scroll down here to available forms. It should have the reservation request phase two form and it will either show begin if you haven't started it or continue in view if you started it. I already clicked into it, so that's why it says continue. So if you go here, it will skip you all the way to the end because all this information has already been filled out. So I'll go through it really quickly. In the welcome page, it just explains to you what phase two is and gives you similar links and resources as the phase one welcome page. If you go here, it will have all your information that you input in in phase one, and it is already pre-filled. And if it is green, you'll know that you're ready to go. If it's something like grayed out, then you will actually have to go in and fill in some information there. So all of this is ready to go. We can just move on to the page that it took us to at the beginning, which is page seven, acknowledgement and documentation. So here it is just asking if your project is qualifying for a priority group that's eligible to waive the application deposit. This priority group only applies to DACs and tribal properties at this moment. So if you are in one of those two groups, you can click yes. If not, you can click no. And it's just letting you know how much your application deposit is and that you are acknowledging that you will pay it. And then if you clicked yes, then your application deposit is waived if you're in that priority group. So here it will give you the same buttons as phase one. If you didn't generate earlier, you can generate now and then you would just repeat the process. So you click generate and then it will download that pre-filled document into your computer right here. And then it will pre-fill this information like the address, the host customer, and then all you would have to do is have the appropriate party sign and date it and then you're ready to submit. So here, you will be generating the multiple bid waiver, reservation request form, and the affidavit ensuring 100% tenant economic be benefit. And then you will go ahead and just upload them into these document slots. If your VNUM load allocations have changed, you can re-upload them here. If they haven't, you're good to just leave it alone. And then you are ready to submit. So here you will see if you go in your view edit page, you'll see your status as reservation request submitted. And then down here, you'll see that you have submitted the form and it gives you a time and date stamp and you are good to go for reservation request phase one.